All right, let's talk about a digital spectrum analyzer. A digital spectrum analyzer gives you a display and it gives you a display of there's some noise and then maybe there's a signal and then there's some more noise and it puts it on the screen. Um, and what it's doing is it's taking a signal and it's digitizing it, okay? And so each uh, pixel of this display has information and uh, depending on the resolution bandwidth and how many pixels you have on your spectrum analyzer display, um, maybe you have uh, 10, 24 pixels. So whatever underlying data you have is gonna be sliced up into 1,024 uh, pixels, right? And so um, if we zoom way in on one of these, okay, Let's say that instead of uh, 1024, uh, these lines I've just drawn are actually just 10 pixels worth, okay? We're looking at 10 pixels worth, and uh, this is the underlying data. So here's, here are the pixel boundaries, okay? And uh, the data is finer than the display. So you have to take this data that you have and you're going to digitize it, okay? And then you're going to have to do something and figure out what value do I want to display? Do I take the average of this and, and that's what I'm going to display? Um, am I going to take the peak? Am I going to take the, the lowest value? What am I going to display, okay? So each one of these, uh, let's say we're going to take the average. So each one of those, uh, we will pick the average of. And you can see that we now have this, this uh, crude representation of the underlying data. All right, so let's zoom in on just one pixel, okay? So we have just one, we have just one pixel and we have data, okay? And that data uh, in that one pixel, we have to decide what do we do with that data? Do we average it? What, what do we do? So the, the spectrum analyzer um, has different modes, okay? One mode is to take the average, okay? So it's gonna, it's gonna average these guys out and you, you, will, you will find some average, right? You can do it mathematically. You can add these all together and divide by the number of samples that you have. And then you could say for this pixel, we are gonna give this value, okay? Whatever that value is, that's, that's what we're gonna put in that bin. That's one mode, okay? That mode is called average, okay? Another mode is I'm gonna take the peak value, okay? And I'm gonna display for this pixel, I'm going to display the peak value. So, so that's what's going to be, this, this data is, is going to be represented by that one value. I'm going to take the negative peak, um, and I'm going to display that value, okay? And um, there are several modes on the spectrum analyzer. Okay. So if I push the detect button, that's what we're going to be looking at, detect. Now I talked about you can do different things. You can take the average. You can take the positive peak. You can take the negative peak. You can uh, do sample and do normal. We haven't talked about those two yet, okay? So if we watch the display over here, all right, and we hit positive peak, so inside every single pixel here, we are using the peak value, okay? So you would think it would be slightly higher than if we use the negative peak value. This would be slightly lower. How much? That eh, depends on the noise and stuff. But this one will be slightly, slightly lower. Now, why would you use positive peak? Why would you use negative peak? And what is the default? The default is positive peak. 
And positive peak is always used so that you don't miss anything. It's gonna, it's gonna error on the side of that must have been a signal. So it's gonna give you the positive values. And it's going to, they, they say that it represents the shape of the spectrum better by always taking the positive. Now, if you have a bunch of noise and your signal is not much bigger than all of that noise, the noise goes up or down, but the signal stays constant. So if you use the negative peak, then maybe the bottom of all your noise is lower than your peak. Your peak won't go up and down because it the signal won't go up, up and down. It's the noise that's going up and down, let's say. And so maybe this gives you just a tiny, a tiny bit more there, okay? So if we go to positive, we can say, oh, it's giving me about, uh, let's see, it's giving me about, ooh, it's bumping up and down. These are one dB. So one, let's say 1.8 dB, it, it's, it's moving up and down, negative. Uh, maybe it's from here up, maybe it's now 2.1 dB. I mean, it, it, it's really fine. You have, to, you have to really stare at this and look at it, wh whether you're seeing any differences or not. But it is a slight amount. The difference between the positive peaks and the negative peaks is a slight amount. If we take the average, um, then that's just going to be an accumulation of everything. And um, in this particular case, the average, I think my noise maybe is up a little bit, but eh, it's hard to say. And here you see we're kind of settling into round two maybe. I know it's getting bigger and smaller and it, 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 it's gonna drift. I have some averaging on, so it's gonna drift and stuff, but it's gonna be maybe around two. So our peak was maybe 2.1, our negative peak was maybe one point, I mean, uh, positive peak was maybe 1.8, negative peak was maybe 2.1, averaging maybe is two, so, somewhere around in there, right? Okay, so let's take a look at these other ones here. What is sample, okay? Sample. That's giving us uh, kind of about the same thing. So what is sample? All right. Sample says um, you have this data. Okay, let, let me draw a new one so we're not, we're not going to get confused here. Um, so we have this pixel and we have this uh, signal comes in and out, okay? Sample just says when you enter the when you enter this pixel, that's the value you use. Or when you exit the pixel, that's the value you use. It's up to the spectrum analyzer design, whether they choose the very first one or the very last one, but that's the value it's going to use, okay? So um, the average might be up here, but this is sort of a whatever it started out as or whatever it ended out as, as that's gonna be sample, okay? And, uh, or, or it could be midway. It could be that they, they just take whatever value it is in halfway through the pixel, right? Whatever. So average, I mean, uh, normal, not normal, I'm sorry. Sample is just, you grab one. You don't do any averaging. You don't, you don't keep the peaks. You don't keep the negatives. You don't average anything. You just grab one and you say, that's what it's going to be, okay? And then there's this strange one called normal. And normal is the one that really looks different here, okay? And, um... Uh, so as far as I, I'm zoomed in, yeah. Um, you can see that there's some funniness going on here. And, and if I go between sample and normal, the noise got really big. And then there's kind of this intermediate piece in here that looks really, really strange, okay? All right, so um, what normal is, and I don't know why you would ever use this, but what normal is, it's going to capture the peak. It's gonna capture the negative peak. So it's gonna grab these two values, okay? And uh, then there'll be a pixel right next door. The pixel, the pixel right next door, it'll have a, a positive peak and a negative peak, okay? And um, so when you push the positive button, you're gonna choose all of these, all the positive ones. If you choose negative peak, you're gonna choose these. Normal, what it does is for this pixel, use the positive. For this pixel, use the negative. For this pixel, use the positive. For this pixel, use the negative. So it's gonna go bump, 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 up and down and up and down and up and down, okay? And so 
that's why it got so big because sometimes it's on the high side, sometimes it's on the low side, okay? And then this little bit in between here is the average of the two, okay? So if I put average, that should look exactly like that middle, uh, brighter, brighter trace, okay? You can kind of see it in there. It's kind of a little bit, little bit brighter, okay? And normal is just high, low, high, low. Maybe it gives you a good idea of how much variation there is in the signal, right? That these guys are varying a lot, but this guy here is not varying very much at all. So he must be a real signal instead of noise. These guys are varying. That guy is not varying. Maybe that's a good way to determine whether you have noise or not. It's really hard to, it's really hard to say. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what the difference is here. We have positive peak, negative peak, sample, remember that's when you just grab, grab one of them, normal, which is up and down and up and down and up and down, and then average, which is, yeah, take an average. So this is for digital spectrum analyzers. An, an old analog spectrum analyzer really only had positive peak detection. Um, that's all there was in it. It was just a diode and a capacitor, basically, an AM detector. Um, and so these other things are more along the lines of uh, digital spectrum analyzers, where you actually have quantized data, and you have to figure out, how do I want to quantize the data? And that's what this is used for.